Hello, welcome to the lecture on Urban Public Service Co-Creation. Are you ready to learn more about Urban Public Service Co-Creation? Let's learn more about if and how citizens can have a role in managing urban green spaces. Let me start with a brief summary of what we will focus on in this lecture. We'll go deeply into the, some definition as a common ground for understanding. Then we will explore that co creation of urban public services mean in the context of urban green space and what the related implications are for their governance. Services are processes. They may change over time and perish after a while. The definition of public services has always been related to two features. The provision of these services, indeed public services may be provided directly by a public actor or by a collaborative action of different stakeholders. You can think of public transportation as an example of this kind of services. The use of public services. Public services are performance offered in a continuous way, able to answer to the collective needs. Here the focus is on the user and not on the provider. In this case, we focus on a specific kind of public services, the urban public services. This means that we are analyzing either services provided by a specific public agent, a municipality, to people living or acting within the urban environment that falls within its jurisdiction, or services that answer to a collective need within this urban context. One of the simpler examples of public services are public parks. Citizens are taking action to respond to the ineffectiveness of urban public services, to the withdrawal of public action. A well-known example of this kind of innovation is Tempelhof in Berlin, where people collaboratively took action to maintain the park in their neighborhood because of dissatisfaction with the municipal maintenance. Innovation and change in public services are strictly related to governance models in service provision. This means that the relationships between the involved actors strongly influence impacts and outcomes of innovation processes. Let's have a look at how these governance models have changed over the years. During the 80s, there was a shift from direct government provision of services to the introduction of private management techniques, such as outsourcing and contracting out. The most famous examples are mobility services. Private companies started to collaborate with public governments in providing such services. During the 90s, the main trend was the creation of public-private partnerships for, for service supply. This was called the three P's model. The creation of such partnerships was aimed at integrating the potential of different actors. For example, Private companies started to stipulate partnership with urban governments in order to maintain urban green areas. At the beginning of the 21st century, referring to the type of citizens' activism that we previously described for Tempelhof in Berlin, a new type of governance mold model emerged, the public-private people partnership. This is also called the 4P model. When the 4P's model is based on an equal relationship among all the stakeholders, citizens acquire more power in the service production process. People contribute actively in knowledge and innovation production through active roles in service provision. People share risks, responsibility and advantages of service provision processes. Be they become real partners in the process. So, co-production of services is central to this 4P model. It's time for some concluding considerations. The 4P model is a particular type of public services co-production. These types of collaborations represent solutions aimed at the productive experimentations. These experimentations are contributing to change in the existing regimes of rule and practices at the urban level. When the 4P model is implemented, the responsibility of services provision is also delegated to citizens and to the private sector. The implementation of the 4P model will change the relational dynamic and may cause a shift of power from the traditional producers of public services to citizens managing public services such as green spaces.